Hey, what's up guys, Totally Dubbed here, and today I'm doing a review for the Vibe Black Air Beat. I think that's what it's called. So this uh, is a little Bluetooth speaker that comes in at around £90. Now I tried looking online, I was actually quoted by Vibe's PR agency that it's £100. Online I found it for £90, but I also found it for £45 for £30. The price I'm going to review this at is going to be £90, simply because I could find it from an authorised uh, seller and it's close to the, um, the price that I was quoted by the PR agency. So let's just get in, straight into it. So first of all, these are the accessories you get. You get a nice little pouch which uh, fits the Black Bear, uh, Black Black Air, sorry, uh, pretty well, as you can see, fits in like that. The problem is you can't really fit in anything else. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a tight squeeze. But anyway, that's that's that. That's a little pouch. This is the box that you get with a nice little refre reflective <laughs> band over here. You get a 3.5 to 3.5 millimeter jack, which is gold plated, which is always very nice. It's a straight jack right there. You get a manual, and you get a charging wire, which is very useful. It doesn't use mini USB, which is the one that you can use for the Samsung Galaxy S3, for example. It's not that connection, as you can see. This is a fatter connection, but it fits onto this, and these wires can be really uh, easily found, but they're not the same ones, so just thought to point that out. And you get a little wrist band, which I think, I guess you could use for some respect for putting this around your wrist or whatnot, but I don't know why they really included that. But anyway, that is that is what's included. Now for the product itself, as you can see at the front, you've got like a Bluetooth logo. There is no button there. It does look like a button, but it's not. It's just an LED that comes on to tell you Bluetooth's on. you got a button over here. Uh, you've got a um, an aux in, you've got the charging wire in there. Over here you've got different sets of buttons. Uh, you've got the play pause button, uh, you've got um, the previous and next button and you've got the on and off switch. At the back you've got like a port which is for the base and over here you've got these little nice little uh, suction pads which are very useful for placing on and it not coming or moving about which is quite useful and very well thought out and aside you've got a battery compartment which is where the battery goes in the battery is over here it's a 1000 milliamp a battery which is not very long in terms of battery wise but it is nice that it's a removable battery so that uh, you can change it as time goes by or you can buy other ones which is very useful because it's great for portability the size is actually very small as you can see it's a very small thing if I'm going to put it next to my Samsung Galaxy S3 as you can see it's not that much bigger it is obviously much fatter but with that said it is still very much portable in comparison to other uh, speakers out there now the most important thing with a Bluetooth speaker for me is its Bluetooth range. Sound quality aside, it is Bluetooth range and unfortunately the Bluetooth range of this speaker was not good. I had a similar experience with other Bluetooth speakers um, and certain other devices and I'm just a little bit disappointed as far if I just go about 10 meters away uh, which is not that much it starts cutting out if I place it 5 meters away or just a bit 5 to 10 meters away between a few walls then I get huge cutouts and whatnot so it's not very much its range is not that great of course if I if I'm in a straight line in between the two and I'm 15 meters apart then it's fine. But anything more than that, you're going to be causing problems. So I was a little bit disappointed by that because it's a Bluetooth speaker and I really want it to be a Bluetooth speaker so that I can go around the house no matter where I'm in the house and not have any problems in that respect. But unfortunately with the Vibe Black Air Beat, this was not the case. It's the same thing that I had with other speakers. As I said, I had the same thing with the Anchor and I had the same thing with the Inertech. The Inertech is £90 and the Anchor is about £20-£25. So for this sort of type of price range, I wouldn't mind. It's not so much of a bother to me. It is a, a, a talking point though, but it's not a big deal. But when you take it out of its price range and you go to the £90-£100 pound price range, then it really should be performing better. So. In terms of its uh, Bluetooth connectivity, I wasn't that impressed. Now, in terms of its actual functionality, now, if you just look at this, I'm going to um, power on my Anchor speaker. What I'm going to do is, first of all, turn on my, my Bluetooth. And there we go. If I turn on the Anchor speaker, it's going to pair it pretty much straight power away. On. It's going to recognize it. There you go. Already connected, and I can play music if I so wish. 
there you go, it's already done. Now if I'm just gonna turn off my Bluetooth, turn off this. Power off. And now I turn on the black air. You'll be able to see it's gonna come on. And it comes in with like weird, like kind of screeching noise. It is fully charged, but I don't know why it does that. And I turn on my Bluetooth it doesn't automatically pair. Um, I have to click it to pair. Um, for some reason, I don't know why, but it just doesn't want to automatically pair. So as soon as I click it, it comes in straight away without problem. Sometimes I had a problem with it connecting only to phone and not media, and then after like about 10, 20 seconds, media would also connect. So it's phone, or phone and media audio. So it does connect and it does work in terms of Bluetooth wise, but you should bear that in mind. So again, with the Bluetooth functionality and everything, not that impressed. Now in terms of the sound, now before I get into the sound, there's something I want to mention and this kind of did annoy me. It's to do with the volume. Now on the Anchor or even on the Inner Tech, when I turn up the volume to max volume on these certain speakers, it is saved. So that means when next time I turn it on, the volume is going to be as loud as I last remember it. With the black air on the other hand, for some reason, each time I play it, it goes back to another volume, it goes back to a lower volume. So I'm going to play some music, just to make sure I'm on max. Now this is the, on, uh, the, the volume up button, I have to hold it, right? You ain't even got to text me, no. knowing me and you got that mental telepathy, me That's be up at the spot, volume. I'll be sending over the chauffeur, rich nigga, breads, they popping up like a toaster, nobody come close to me and you together, step. Right, so now that was on a max volume, right? Now we, we agreed this was on max and that was on max, as, as you are probably able to hear as the volume went up. So I'm going to disconnect it from its Bluetooth, turn this device off as well, and now I'm going to turn it back on and then turn the Bluetooth back on and then repair it well not repair it just it's already paired so just connection and now I'm gonna play the music again and the volume's gone back down turn it back up I just don't understand the principle. So each time I turn off my device, I'm not on pairing. Just as soon as I turn off my device, the volume changes back to a lower volume. If I've set it to a certain volume, I don't want to keep going back to my device, turning it back on, and then coming back again. Also, the fact of changing it, it's if I press it like this, it's, it should change the music. As you can see, it changes it. So I have to hold it down or press it and you, you'll be able to see it changing with a little light over here. That's volume down and now I'm going to go volume up. You have to hold it. So it's a little bit annoying. The volume isn't like a simple switch or a, a dedicated volume button that you've got say over here or even over here. It's an actual a button integrated with the previous and next button which isn't that convenient I must say. So when I'm when I'm pairing it each time, I'm finding myself, oh, wait a second, I have to turn up the volume of this, and there we go. Now in terms of the sound quality, the sound quality again was something I wasn't that impressed about. Now I was super critical about the InnerTech Bluetooth um, speaker, because it's a £90 price tag, which is very high price tag. And for £90, I just wasn't that impressed. In fact, I gave the inner tech, due to its Bluetooth connectivity problems, due to its build quality, and due to its sound kind of distorting at a higher volume, um, and its actual overall sound quality, I gave it a 6 out of 10 rating. The Anchor, I think I gave a 5 out of 5 or 4 out of 5 review, because the only thing that really held it down at its £20, £25 price range was really its Bluetooth connectivity. Its sound quality was actually quite decent. The Vibe, on the other hand, the sound quality is even worse than the Inatec. Its mids are even more veiled, the bass is overemphasized, and you've got a just bloated amount of bass, the highs are rolled off, and more so, it, not, not that it vibrates, but it distorts. Now let me just, it's on max volume, I'm going to put it on max volume, max on this as well, make sure it's on max. Yeah. Now, don't you wish you came up? Girl, what you playing for? I, come on, come on, let me kiss that. Ooh, I know you missed that. What's wrong? Let me
let me fix that. Now, I'm not sure if my camera is able to pick that up, but the vibrations of the bass actually distorts the overall sound of the vibe. Now, I'm pretty sure it's because of the actual size of the um, of the vibe. It's actually a very small design. It's got an air intake or outtake over here for the bass, which is great at lower volumes. But as soon as you go over higher volumes and by the way, that volume for me is something that I would like to play at parties. It's something loud. End of the day, a Bluetooth speaker for me is something that I want to play. I want to take it out to the park and play it really loudly so that people can enjoy. I'm not going to really use it at lower volumes because at that point I might as well just have earphones in. So I'm going to use it at loud volumes and at loud volumes, I'm actually kind of disappointed about it. I get distortion because of an over bloated bass and really kind of strong bass. Now, on their website, they really try and emphasize that they've got bass. And yeah, you've got bass, but you haven't got quality of bass. You've got quantity of bass, which reduces the quality of bass and the quality of your mids and highs. You just don't get it. So I just don't know what vibe I've done over here. They've gone for overemphasis of bass, and that has ruined their mids and their highs. And because of that, it also distorts the overall loud volume of the actual speaker. And then if I take this all into account, it's going crazy. I, if I take this all into account and then I say it is a 90 pound product, even, hey, PR agency told me it's 100 pounds. So let's just take 90 pounds price tag. I don't know how I could ever, ever recommend this. And in all honesty, with its Bluetooth functionalities, with its design, which is, well, in all honesty, a little bad with these functions over here. Okay, granted, the size is nice and the accessories are all, are decent, but its actual functionality that why I buy a Bluetooth speaker is because of its Bluetooth connectivity and its sound quality and its volume, those three things are not good. The only thing I would really buy this for is size. As you can see, it's a really nice sized um, piece in comparison, say, for example, the Inatech. As you can see, it's a huge difference, and this is not very portable at all. This is more of a put it down as a, a speaker for the home. And this is more of a, I take it to the park type thing. But even then, if I'm gonna take it to the park, I'm, rather, I'm much rather take this, or even something smaller than this, because end of the day, I don't need to entertain the whole park, I just need to entertain myself at the park, and it's gonna be like in a five meter radius. Even I've been playing football in the park, and I've had this playing, and it's been plenty enough for me taking free kick practice shots from outside the box, and hearing this, um, when it's you know 25 yards out of the box so it's um it's one of those i i, I honestly i am not a fan of the vibe black air they're very well known for their um their computer and no, sorry their their car system audio and i have heard them in person when i went to the gadget show that brilliant bass really strong mids and really nice highs but you have to pay the price for that and they tried to convey that into a small portable solution and in all honesty they really screwed up. I cannot recommend this product at all. If I had to give this rating, I'd probably give it a 2 out of 10. And the only reason I'd give it a 2 out of 10 is simply because of its design. Its design is very nice and sleek, and it's very much cool to have in your hand. It's kind of portable. You can take it around with you. But it's definitely not a thing that I would really see myself using, especially when I compare it to some of its competitors, which are, for example, these two. I can't quite emphasize it enough. I really did not like the Vibe Black Air Beat. And in fact, its battery life was quite good, I must say. You know, it, it, you know, I'm saying a lot of negatives, but there are positives out there, like the removal battery, which you don't get on the other products. Uh, and its battery life was surprisingly good for a 1000 milliamp um, battery. But in all honesty, I'm not buying it um, for those reasons. I'm buying it for the sole purpose of playing music um, on the go at certain ranges and unfortunately the black air beat really did not impress me so unfortunately I'm gonna have to give it a 2 out of 10 review just didn't tick the boxes for me and I don't know what vibe we're thinking with this but I think they should do a better job um, when they come to designing it or when they come to just trying to produce something that's like their car system audio, especially at such a high price tag. If this was maybe, say, 20, 30 pounds, I wouldn't be so critical about it and probably give it a four out of 10. But even then, it's a four out of 10. It's still not worth a eight out of 10 or nine or 10 out of 10 that I gave, for example, for the Anchor speaker. Even though this has better bass, its overall sound quality and overall volume, 
this comes out on top. I would choose this. So, unfortunately, guys, I hope you enjoyed this honest review. Again, if you like my reviews, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and comment uh, below. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of sad to say this is a negative re re review, but um, it is, as all my reviews are, very, very honest. Hope you enjoyed this video. I've been totally dubbed. Make sure you subscribe. Take care, guys. Totally dubbed out. Bye-bye.